All right, we're going to take a deep breath and we're going to take this one slow because this is important for you to learn, but it is a lot. So, all right, one, two, three. All right, it's our deep breath. This is based on a real experience that I had. All right, so let's look. We have this list of transactions from these various clients. We go over to the overview and in the table in columns I and J, we see what are the minimum amounts of each transaction that is billable. So at Mango Seed Limited, our company can bill on transactions that are $1,000 and above. Okay. Over in cell B2, I have a drop down list. It has our clients. There's Mango Seed Limited. And there is a V lookup in D2, which is pulling over the minimum transaction. Now, we are going to use Power Query to import the right transactions. So with Mango Seed Limited, the minimum is $1,000. Let's take a look. We do not want this $500 transaction. We do want the $8,766 transaction once we're done. All right. To drill down, the first thing that we're going to do is make our variables. This is going to be our data set data from table slash range table does have headers okay we're going to call this client now i'm going to right click drill down now we just have a variable go to file close and load to only create connection okay and then we have to do this with the minimum transaction click here data from table slash range. Table does have headers. I'm going to call this minimum or just call it min, M-I-N, and then go over here, select this value, right click it, drill down. Now we just have the value, $1,000. Okay. Close and load two. Only create connection. Okay. Now this is where it gets good. We're going to go back to transactions. Now, this is where we're going to filter for what we want. And I'm going to show you a strategy. Data from table slash range. We're making our transactions query. OK. We're going to name this transactions. Then we're going to filter it. Let's filter for St. Francis Stadium. OK. Now we're going to filter for that transaction amount. We're deliberately not going to choose the actual value for St. Francis Stadium so that when we put in the value, everything should change. And that would let us know that we did things right. All right, let's filter. Then we go to number filters. Greater than or equal to. And I'm going to put in. $4,000. Okay. Now notice that last step where I filtered, see that greater than or equal to 4,000. That's a hard coded number. And that's where we're going to put our value. Let's open this up and get reminded that value is going to be capital M. And then I N M I N. And see the IntelliSense is showing that M I N is a legitimate variable for us. Okay. So hit Enter. Look at that. It's grasping the right number. OK, but we've got to go to filtered rows and change that because it's showing St. Francis Stadium. We need to get rid of that. And then put in client. That flipped a mango seed because mango seed is what is selected on the worksheet. So we've got our client mango seed. The minimum is a thousand. These are the transactions. Let's close and load that to the right location. Close and load to. Existing worksheet. Going to put it right here. OK. We can get rid of these. 
Now, let's change it. Mango C Limited, change it to Orlean Ziffin Tech. The minimum is $950. Now we go to Data, Refresh. Those are the three billable transactions. And we got that by using the drill down, also called passing a parameter.